Hello, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Good evening, everybody. Hello. 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 Good evening. I apologize for my neighbor's dog. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Y hoy sí Zoom la delata, fíjese. ¿Cómo fue? Zoom la delata, porque no, nadie puede entrar hasta que usted no se conecte. Yes, ah, I was nervous. Yes, I was having problems connecting. But I was finally able to get in. Okay, so I'm sorry about the neighbor's dogs. How are you guys? <laughs> Don't worry. Fine, teacher. Pretty um, good? Yeah. Fine? Yeah. Yes, yes, very good. Okay, okay, good. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. I'm glad everybody is able to be here. Um, good to see everybody. Um, let's go ahead and um, do the attendance. So just, um, are you guys able to hear me? Yes, 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 Edgar. Edgar. I don't see Edgar. All right. Um, Janet. Present teacher. All right. Fabiola. Fabiola. No? Not here? Okay. No problem. Let's see. Haiti. Is Haiti here? Haiti? Hello. Oh, there she is. Oh, no, but that's Irene. <laughs> that's Irene. <laughs> okay. All right. Then in that case, it's uh, okay. Irene is here. Okay. Um, Ivan? Present teacher. Okay. Welcome, Ivan. Ivan. Josue? Josue? Not here either? Okay. All right. Um, Johnny, is Johnny here? Johnny? No, okay. All right, um, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. All right, welcome Juan Francisco. Um, Thank Jury. Present teacher. Okay, good. Carla? Carla Cano? No? Okay. Okay. Um, Melissa, is Melissa here? Melissa, Melissa? No. Okay. All right. Luis Ernesto. Is Luis Ernesto here? Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Welcome. Um, Manuel Alejandro. Manuel Alejandro? No. Okay. All right. Marvin. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Welcome, Marvin. Wendy. Present teacher. Wonderful. Werner. Present teacher. Right. Uh, Yvonne. Present. Okay. Wonderful. All right. Francisco. Francisco. Francisco Javier. No. And Jenny Quesada. Jenny, 
Is Jenny here? Jenny is not here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to repeat the name to the people that I didn't hear. And you guys tell me if, if you are here or not. We have Edgar. Edgar? No. Okay. Uh, Fabiola? No? Okay. Heidi? No? El pollo quiere. Um, Johnny? Se lo comió. Mm -hmm. Okay, Le um, Johnny's not here? No? Okay. Uh, Josue. Yeah, teacher, I'm here. Oh, okay. One, two, all right. Carla? Carla? No? Uh, Melissa? Melissa? No? Okay. Um, Manuel Alejandro? No. Okay. Eh, Francisco, Javier? Yeah, no, okay. Uh, Jenny? So we're still missing quite a few. All right, guys. Well, thank you for those of you that connected on time. Um, I, I'm, uh, I, I'm going to be very sincere with you. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little under the weather. Do you guys remember that expression from last course? Yes, teacher. Yes, you feel bad. Yeah, okay. So I'm feeling a little under the weather today. So just be patient with me, okay? So I'm just um, letting you know ahead of time if in case uh, my, um, you know, I start saying things that I'm not supposed to say. <laughs> you know? So just let me just, um, just know that it's not me, <laughs> okay? All right, guys. Well, welcome to today's class. Um, I'm going to start the class by sharing my PowerPoint. So please tell me if you can see it or let us in when you can see it. Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Good. So today we're it's beginner module six. It's unit one, and we're talking about job listings. Okay, so let's take a um, look at today is Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. It's day number two, and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay. So um, yeah, last class we learned a little bit about how to talk about abilities. Remember this? We talked about this at the very end of the class. We talked about that when we are talking about our abilities, the abilities that you have, we use the word can. Right? So for example, right here, right? So you use it to talk about your abilities. For example, I can speak three languages. I can direct small projects. Okay. All right, um, but in the case that you don't have an ability, then in that case, we're gonna be using can't. For example, I can't use spreadsheets. I can't use this program. Okay. And we also talked about that after after using the can or can't, we use the verb in the base form, like speak, direct, use, use. Okay? So that's what we talked about last class. All right? Any questions so far? Not 
Okay. All right. So this is this is what we learned in last class, and I also mentioned that it's also a very good idea that when you are talking about things that like abilities that you don't have, like I can't use spreadsheets, you should always make it up with something that is positive, right? For example, but I've learned fast, or but I am a fast learner, right? So um, that always compensates for what you don't know, what you can't do, what you, abilities you don't have. Okay, so this in a job, a job interview is very useful. Okay, so that, that may be something that you would need. Okay, so I asked you guys to do this part for homework, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. So, and I told you that it shouldn't take you very long. So I, and I really think that it shouldn't take you very long. Okay, so let's start with the first one. I mean, yeah, it should have taken in like, you know, five minutes. Okay, so let's start um, with the first one. How about if Marvin helps us with number one? Can you do the whole thing? The whole thing? I can't. The, the whole sentence. I'm sorry, I can't help to help you today. I really bus busy. Okay, hey, thank you. Oh my goodness. Sorry guys, my 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 um my keyboard is still not cooperating with me. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right. So so this is Marvin's answer. I'm sorry I can't help you today. I'm really busy. Be careful with the pronunciation of this word. I know that it looks like it says like busy or bossy, but it's actually the U is pronounced it. So it's busy. Busy. So can you repeat that after me? Busy. 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 Good. So like I said, the majority of the time, like 80% of the time, the U in English will be pronounced like uh, right? But this is an exception. That's why I say like an 80% because it's not all the time. So in this case, it's not uh, it's not buzzy or boozy. It's busy, eh, eh, busy. And what is what does it mean, busy? Ocupado. Yeah, okay. yeah. Lots of you have lots of things to do. That's what it means. You have a lot of things to do. Okay. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Um, let's have. You know, Wendy. Wendy, could you help me with the next one? Can you read the whole thing? I just can manage manages to wake up on time. I always late. Okay, I just can't manage to wake up on time. I'm always late. It's okay. manage. 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 Okay. Manage. Okay. okay. Thanks. Good. Next. Um Let's have Juan Francisco help us with the next one. Okay, read the whole thing, please. And look, it's right there. Can you see it? You see it? Uh, it's so obvious. Okay, I, I couldn't hear you very well. What did you say over here? And uh, yeah. Can okay, like this. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. Number four. Um. Let's have um. 
Um, Yvonne, Yvonne, can you help us with number four, Yvonne? I can speak German. I live in Germany for eight years. Okay, Yvonne, did you say can or can't? Can. Can. Like that? Yes. Okay, all right, wonderful, thank you. All right, and Jenny, can you help me with the last one? Okay, she doesn't have a dry license. She can't dry. Ah, uh, no veo lo otro. I can see that. A car. A car. Okay, so she can or she can't? Can't. Okay. Like this? Yes. Okay, all right. Okay, very good, guys. Um, what do you guys think? Do you agree with these answers? Or is there something that you would like to change? Some answer that you would like me to change? Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. How the pronunciation that can and cannot. Yeah, I, I will go over the pronunciation in just one moment, okay? So just give me one second and I will answer that question, Jenny. Okay? Uh, Thank teacher. you. Uh -huh. I have a question on and the um, number um, number uh, three. Okay. Uh, uh, why it no can't? Mm -hmm. Good question. Yeah, I I'm going to answer that. Well, I'll answer that right now. If you notice, this one's actually a little different, and the reason it's different is because this is a question, okay? So if you notice, this is a question, right? Okay, there's a question there. So because it's a question, we, we in English, we normally like, I would say like 90% of the time, we do not begin with negative words. So we can't say can't. We would have to say can because it's a question. Okay, so to begin a question, we use can. All right, does that answer your question? Uh, just teacher, uh, I think the uh, um... Is is coming is Spanish is a uh, um, como expression. No lo has visto or uh, can you can you can't you see it? Uh, I, I I don't know. I understand. Um, that's why I said ninety percent of the time you don't start a question in English with a negative, but the other ten percent of the time are what we call negative questions, right? And negative questions are what you just mentioned. Yes, it's like when you say in Spanish, um, no lo puedes ver, right? Okay, but it's not very common. Most of the time we start, and, and, and for the purpose of this activity and for this lesson, try just to keep it like this, okay? So um, I know that you're not wrong. You're absolutely not wrong, Warner. You're, you're, you're right. It is possible to do it, but that's a little more like an advanced level. And right now we want to get used to this. Like we want to understand this part first and then we can do something else, right? Does that make sense? Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah? Okay, okay, good. Okay, yeah, so, um, all right, so what about the others? What do you, what about the other answers? Do you agree with them? Do you not agree with them? I agree. I agree. Yeah? I agree too. You agree yes. as well? Okay, let's check. I'm sorry, I can't help you today. I'm really busy. Yes, and the fact that it says I'm sorry 
it means that you're apologizing because you don't have the ability to do that. Okay. All right. Um, next. I just can't manage to wake up on time. I'm always late. That is also correct. And notice that it, it's very it's 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 very obvious that that's the answer because you're late because you don't wake up on time. You know, that's the reason why you're late. Although you can be late for other reasons. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Next says, "Look, I'm right here. Can you see it? It's so obvious." Um. They like we said before. This is a question, and we normally start questions with the auxiliary. In this case, the auxiliary is can. Okay. Next, it says, I can speak German. I lived in Germany for eight years. Yes, that's correct. Notice that you, if you live in Germany for eight years, obviously you're going to speak German, right? It's impossible to live in Germany for eight years and not speak it, right? And finally, number five, she doesn't have a drive, driving license she can't drive a car so because she doesn't have the driving the driving license that's the reason she can't drive a car or better said she can't drive a car because she doesn't have a driving license so that's correct as well all right okay so those are the answers now um some of you asked me about pronunciation and I'd like to go over that pronunciation. This is very important, actually. Uh, by the way, before, before we begin, I, I want you to understand that can't, actually, let me make this, the word can't is a contraction of the word cannot. Okay? So cannot is one word. In English, cannot is one word, but this is like the more formal word. And to make it more informal, we use a contraction. That's why we use the cat. Okay, so that's something that, um, that you should be aware of, right? So it is possible for me to say, I cannot use spreadsheets, okay? Or I, ca I cannot use this program. That's also possible. Okay, so can't and cannot. Now, there is a difference on how you pronounce these words. This is can't. Can you repeat that? Can't. 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 Cannot. 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 So notice, normally we say can't, can't, like it's can't. more like a, like a S sound, can't. can't, can't. So for example, I can't, I can't use spreadsheets, but I learn fast. Or I can't use this program, but I'm a fast learner. Okay, so that's normal how we say it. And then the full form is actually cannot. Cannot. Okay, so repeat that. Cannot. 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 It's cannot. like uh, the double N is like, uh, we need to pronounce the double N, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's like emphasized, yeah. Cannot. Cannot. Okay. So I cannot go. I cannot go. Cannot. cannot go. So it's not cannot. It's cannot. I cannot go. The stress is on the first syllable. Okay. Jessica, cannot is together or separate? Yes. Cannot is together. That's how we normally write the word cannot. Really? I know it looks weird, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, that's, that's life. I mean, languages sometimes are very weird. You don't, you don't really 
understand them sometimes, but that's how it is. Yeah. So this is this is actually one of those expe exceptions where the word not goes to the word. So it's one whole word. Okay. Now, in the case of this word, this word is stress. Okay. So normally with these ones, you say, I can't stress. use spreadsheets. I can't use spreadsheets. Normally, the word that we emphasize in this one, I'm sorry. Normally, the word that we emphasize in this sentence is the word use. The word use. That's what we normally emphasize. I can't use a spreadsheet. We don't normally emphasize a can't, right? You don't say, I can't use a spreadsheet because, you know, obviously we don't like to emphasize negative things, right? So we usually emphasize more the, the verb. So I can't use spreadsheets. I can't use this program. But in this one, we like to emphasize it. So the emphasis is not so much on the speak, it's more on the can. So it says, I, I can speak three languages. I can direct small projects. In this case, the can, you pronounce it can, not a, not kin, it's can. I can, I can, I can. I can speak three languages, I can direct small projects. Okay. Got it? All right, so yes, it's a, it's a little, it's a little bit of, um, it, there's a lot of information there you have to remember in the sense that of the pronunciation. But, you know, once you get the hang of it, it doesn't get, I know it sounds very complicated right now, but it really isn't once you practice and practice, right? So the more practice you get, the better. So just remember, if it's affirmative, it's good. You have the ability, so you, you emphasize it. And you emphasize it as can. I can speak three languages. I can. I can speak three languages. I can do direct small objects. But in this one, we don't want to emphasize the fact that, it's, that you don't have the ability. So this one is not emphasized so much. What is emphasized is the verb. I, can, I, can use, or I can't use spreadsheets. Teacher, I have a doubt. Sure. I, I have a question. Is 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 because uh, when you say can and can't, when you use the word separate, you you recognize the letter T, but when you use in this sentence, I can use the pronoun. I don't know if is correctly emphasize the letter T in that sentence. Yes and no. You do pronounce the T, but normally the T is, is merged together with the other word. So if you notice, you say, I can't use, I can't use, I can't use, right? So the, the, the use, right? Like I put them together, I can't use, okay? But yes, um, the T is a little bit more silent. You're absolutely right about that. Okay. Confused. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yes, it's 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 mentioned, but it's more like together with the the use, and um, and it is a little more silent. I can't use. I can't use. Yeah. I can't use. I can't. Use. I can't use. I can't use. I can use. I can't use. I can use. I can't use. I can't use. I can't use. Okay, so it's not so much like I can't use. It's more like I can't use. I can't use. Okay, so it's like put together. Okay. All right. Any questions so far? Okay, all right. In that case, um, okay. 
All right. So now let's see if you guys can work on this by yourself, like you can actually do this. First, complete the diet. So this is your turn now. Complete the diagram with things you can and can't do right here. Okay. What can you do? What can't you do? And what I mean about, um, when I'm asking about what can you do, um, try to um, direct it towards the work. Okay. So I know you can do, I know you have a, lots of ability for other things, but because we are concentrating on job listing, let's think about what can you do? What abilities can you have? Do you have in for work? And what abilities don't you have? Okay. So right, I want you to complete this. Okay. So right now up to here, that's all I need you guys to do. So I'll give you, I don't know, about five minutes, I think. Okay. Good. okay. guys have any questions you can ask me too right so i'm here to help
Okay, you guys ready or do you need more time? One more minute, please. Okay. Okay, all right, so I'm hoping that you guys are all finished, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna work with the partner. You're gonna join the assigned breakout room, so I'm gonna divide you guys um, with the partner. You're gonna be working in, in pairs in a breakout room. Ask a classmate about his or her qualifications and write them in the second diagram, okay? So here, I want you to write the information from your classmates. You're going to, you're going, to, and you're going to be comparing, right? So, right here, I want you to, right here, you're going to put the information from your classmate, and here you're going to put the information that is the same as you and your classmate. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. So um, I'm going to do the work. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, Werner, you're on, you're on two, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. Give me one moment while I figure this out. Okay, so I'm going to give you I'm going to give you a, a, a bit of time, maybe about 12 minutes, because you're going to be comparing. So you're not, it's not just about sharing information, you're going to be comparing, seeing what information your partner has, write it down and see what you things you have in common. Okay. So I'll give you 12 minutes. Here we go. You can go ahead and join your group. Estamos iguales. 
Okay, I listen to you. Okay. Uh, I can industry electricity. Uh, I can operate a generator. Uh, I can operate the boiler. Uh, I can't program system. I can't uh, repair the mechanic parts or motors. Um, I can't repair the boiler. Only that. Uh, so good, you are mechanical. Well, I tell you something about the, I do on my work every day. I can use uh, a, spread, a spreadsheet. Um, I can manage uh, uh, some database. I know about the SQL language and sometimes I have to program in a query and another of my qualification are um, I make a presentation for committees and PowerPoint and I can use software for programming in the um, do you pro, uh, you tell me that you program system this no I can't Mama? The, the last sentence, don't understand. Okay. I can download, es descargar. Ah. I can download videos on internet. Ah, okay. On internet, on the internet. Mm -hmm. huh? Okay. okay. And I, I can cook different kind of dishes. I can, I can make exercise. <laughs> Um, just, I just wanted to, sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt, um, Irene, but um, when you, for exercise, you don't make exercise, you do exercise. Mm -hmm. The verb is do, do exercise. Okay. Okay, All right. okay thanks. You're welcome. Fabiola, um, any, any, um, any problems there with the, with the camera? No, teacher. Este, ahorita la siento. Ok, ok. Luego le mando un mensaje. Bye, de acuerdo. Thank you. Ok. okay. I'll see you guys, I'll see you girls in a bit. Ok. Um, I can, I can. Hello, teacher. Teacher, Yuri is gone. He's gone. Oh. I am alone. <laughs> hmm. um, I guess he had connection problems. Maybe because uh, um, se frizó. <laughs> uh -huh. Si sí, es que está lloviendo. Sí, teacher. Entonces puede ser que por eso sea. Um, okay, did you get to speak with him? Like, did you get some answers? Yes, I, I, I say my answer. Uh, I confirm my answer. I can, and I continue uh, with I can, but. He's gone. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, well, tell me. Okay. Okay, I can uh, provide psychological care, psychological care, and I can, sorry? Psychological. 
psychological mm -hmm. care and I can apply, 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 psychometric psycho test. And finally, I can give a training to the personnel in the company, in the company. And I can't, I can't uh, prepare a spreadsheet, a spreadsheet, la planilla, a spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. And I, I lose the connection. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Hello, <back> Julie. <laughs> Okay. okay. Continue with Yuri. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Continue with him. Okay, thanks, teacher. Mm -hmm, you're welcome. Okay, Yuri, uh, I continue. I can't prepare a spreadsheet. Spreadsheet. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Hey, hi, teacher. <laughs> um, so, teacher, you guys have questions for me? Uh, it, it could be only three, three options for can and can. Sorry, what is the question? Uh, can can we only use three options and in can and can? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What happened? Are you guys finished? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. And you completed uh, the, your partner's information and the things that you have in common? Yes? My partner information, yes. And she has my information too. Okay. But we have to comp compare. <clears throat> All right, yeah, you have to compare things that you have in common. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. So. Una espada que is uh, uh, yeah uh, with with uh, that can cut in in both sides. Yes, uh, it's um it's, it's um uh, I don't know uh, the the others in in the toys is the only. Only uh, in the... De la cintura hacia arriba, no sé, de la... I don't know, so... Ah, uh, it's not depends of the... Of the, the sector is... Work. The sector is different. Uh -huh. The sector, the sector is different. That, that you can touch your opponent. Yes, yes, it's different. And, and Sable ah. is... Uh, is um, mm, uh, is, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, waist up. So mm. yeah, waist up the touch. And, uh, and foil mm. is, uh, is different. And foil is the touch is um, only 
Jacket Electric, uh, es un... Uh, I don't know, entonces, es como Electric Chaleco, no sé. No sé, mm -hmm. chaleco, es como un chaleco, no sé cómo se llama. Best. Best, ok. Mm -hmm. Electric vest is, is, is uh, the touch in foil. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and then the others different. Uh, part of the band. Uh, you can okay. And the main is chill, is schedule. Yeah, make, maintenance okay. schedule. Yeah, perfect. Are you guys yes. finished or not yet? No yet. No yet. Uh, we need a little more time. Okay, no problem. Uh, I can't uh, play a guitar. But <laughs> do you need to play guitar in your work? Okay. I can use the program. No, sí. <laughs> no <Sí>. ya, <laughs> ya sabemos que viene. <laughs> no, yo no sabía que era eso. Por eso me quedé. What? <laughs> es que veo que cuando dice recording, probably todo se queda. Ajá, yo no sabía que eso era. Ajá. Uh -huh. Teacher. Teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> sí, dígame. Emo le estábamos hablando de habilidades. Yo le, no sabía que eran del trabajo, pero hemos practicado hablando. Okay. Yes, teacher. That's important. That's the most important thing. That's good. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Ok. Lo, lo único que lo pregunto así en español. En el caso del classmate, ¿tenemos que comparar es que vamos a escribirlo nosotros lo de él y lo nuestro? Oh, como ahí no. compare, compare things that you have in common. So what things you can do the same with Marvin and what things you can't do that are the same with Marvin. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Ahora sí. I got it. <laughs> okay. okay. They use the, the, they use the office. The program. Mm -hmm. the same. I, we can use office package. In this case, to... do you still need more time? Yes, uh, yes <laughs> a <check>. little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Okay, okay, no worries. You can have a little bit more time. Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay, thank you. In this case, the in make so. a report anomaly is the same with your the report same. sent. Mm, no, I don't understand. I don't. They need to download the Google Meet in case they don't have it. But all of us that we have a Gmail address, we have active the Google Meet most of the time. In my case, I use that, but I cannot use Zoom. And you work with Zoom. Zoom. So, uh -huh. In my case, in my case, it's with Zoom. Or the Teams, you say? Maybe um, with um, algún cliente, con algunos clientes. Some customers. Some, some, some customers. In the Google Teams, it works almost like Zoom, or you need to create an ID for the meeting? Or? I need, no, I need to create a schedule. Ah. Um, you send it. You send it to the person. Ah, it almost like Google Meet that you send the link and the customers just click on that. Is something like that? No. No. Uh, Google Meet. Google Meet. Or see Google Meet. Yes, that is the one that I use. But you work with the Microsoft Teams, right? Eh, pero esos son los algunos clientes que te lo exigen que, que sea con, con Meet. 
eh, perdón, con, con, con Teams. Con Teams. Ajá. Ah. O sea, creo que es como por seguridad de ellos. Ah, uh, haven't worked. Uh -huh. About Teams is that it's uh -huh. more like exclusive. Like, oh, really? Uh, yeah, in the sense that you, um, it's, the, there's more like security, I guess, in the sense that not anybody um, can join the, 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 um, the meeting. The meeting, yeah. So it, it, it's a little more um, like, uh, like for example, you can invite people from your organization. Uh -huh. So um, the, yes, you. There are people from outside they can join, but um, they have to have like a special code to be able to join. Similar to Zoom, in that because I think with all these changes, Zoom is like becoming more secure. Yes, uh, I mean, the, yeah, um, the thing about Zoom is that you can, there's, there's different versions of Zoom. There's, um, oh. you know, there's the free version, right, where, uh -huh. uh, and then there's the paid version, and then there's the pro version, which is like the one we use, right? The pro version is definitely more secure because obviously you pay more. <laughs> Uh, for that reason, you have the ability to create breakout rooms and stuff like that. You can you can create breakout rooms uh, with you know with a regular account. Ah, okay. But, um, there are certain features, and um, yes, it's 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 uh, with the Zoom Pro. It's, I think it's a little bit more secure that way. Mm, <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. Yes, I'm finding that. You'll see. Uh huh. Sorry. For example, if you notice. Uh, you have to sign in mm. to be able to join the class, mm -hmm. right? You can't just simply join a class, right? You have to sign in. You have to put your information so that they know who it is before uh, they, they join. Exactly, exactly. Yes, because I use Meet with the customers. I was explaining to, to Elsie that I use Meet but I just send a link to the customer and I just share my screen. They don't see me because for me, what I want is to show how the system works and it works. Also, I can send a recorded session in case they have a partner and I can set like uh, some kind of permission that is visible for them just for 24 hours or 48 hours. But that, that works for me. No, I, I have never created that. A Zoom meeting. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> yes, she's explaining me because she is a she troubleshoot networks. So oh, troubleshooting. Uh, yeah, she troubleshoots. I didn't know that. No, oh, me neither. So you know everything there is to know about about computers and everything. Um, sorry, teacher. You know everything that needs to be learned about computers. No. No. No, no, no. no. Programs? Programs, eh, sí, sí. Ajá, pero, pero lo que pasa es que eh, yo sí conozco como de las herramientas, más no es como que yo lo, lo aplico porque yo soy del área de ventas. Ah. Entonces yo soy comercio senior, que sí conozco como los productos, más no... Eh, por ejemplo, hacer eh, un taller con un cliente y hacer, por ejemplo, mañana tenemos eh, un evento donde los clientes van a hacer como eh, un experimento en las máquinas virtualmente, pero es como que si estuvieran en un equipo manejando todas las soluciones de seguridad. But you are going más to no, guide them. Más no, más no, pues yo no lo puedo hacer. ¿verdad? O sea, yo soy como la conexión entre el cliente y el ingeniero preventa, que es el que sí puede hacer todo. No, you no. learn watching in every session, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you learn. No, I no, sí, eso sí. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, well, girls, I'm going to see you in the main room, okay? Okay, okay. See you, teacher. Okay. Okay, so you see. We have different things in common. <laughs> Just the office suite and we run.
Recording in progress. The teacher is here. The teacher is here. Viene, <laughs> debería <laughs> decir. Ahí viene. Ahí viene la teacher. <laughs> que, le, que les avisa les avisa antes que yo llegue. Sí. Yes. Yes. Ahí vienen los años. <laughs> Ay, no, qué cosa. Ok. Láseme, ya no puedo ser sigilosa. Eso, plom. <laughs> ok. All right, guys. Um, so I hope you had an opportunity of speaking there with your classmates. I'm glad um, some some group, uh, there was one group that told me, teacher, we didn't know that it was about work, but we were able to have a conversation. And that's great. That That's what this uh, the activities are about. It's not so much about, you know, doing things perfectly or, you know, it's it's more about having the experience of working with someone and using the language. So even if you don't know everything, what to say, like even if you don't know exactly what to say uh, about a certain um, topic and you know, don't, don't say, oh, okay, uh, I'm going to switch to Spanish because I don't know the vocabulary. Try to keep it in English, even if it's a little bit, that you speak, but try to speak. And you know, if you finish the activity, talk about other things, but in English, right? Because that's the idea. The more practice you have with the language, the more fluency that you will acquire, okay? Okay, guys, we're going to take attendance once again, because it's that time. All right, so let me take again, uh, Anna Claudia. Present teacher. Great. Andres. Present teacher. Great. Edgar. Present teacher. Excellent. Elsie. Present teacher. All right. Fabiola. Present teacher. Excellent. Heidi. No, I will not say Heidi. Okay. Uh, Irene. Present. Excellent. Yeah, Ivan. Present, teacher. Excellent. Johnny. Johnny? No, okay. Uh, Josue? Present, teacher. Excellent. Juan Francisco? Present, teacher. All right. Jerry? Present teacher. Excellent. Carla? Carla? No. Um, Melissa? Melissa, no. Manuel Alejandro? Manuel Alejandro? No. Okay. Uh, Luis. Present teacher. All right. Um, Marvin. Present teacher. All right. Wendy. Present. All right, excellent. Werner. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Yvonne. Present. Okay, excellent. Francisco. Francisco. No. Jenny. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so let's continue guys. Now that we've um, talked a little bit about that, um, I want to hear some of, some of your, some of the things that you, have in common with your classmate. So what, thing, what things did you discover that are similar between you two? Things that you can do, like abilities that you have and abilities that you don't have. Who wants to share?
Okay. Ron, you want to share? Yvonne? Can you hear me? Okay. Do you want to share? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, in my case, uh, my abilities. No, uh, abilities that you and your partner share. Ah, okay. Uh, my partner was Werner. And his ability is uh, that he can speak Italian. Uh, he can understand some words in French. Uh, he can manage some programs. Uh, he practiced fencing. Uh, he can, uh, he is a good teacher of fencing. And he can use the sable. Okay, good. What abilities do you share with Warner? What things are the same as you and Warner? Uh, maybe the, uh, he is a good teacher, but uh, offensive, but I that I am a good teacher, but uh, in a teaching program uh, to make some graphics in the in, in my work, oh. but my abilities are, are not the same of Werner. Okay, okay, no, but but you you are both teachers in different areas. Okay, good. Excellent. Very yes. good. Yes. Very, very good. Okay. Uh, jury, you want to share with us what abilities are the same and different that you share with your partner? Well, I, I, I joined with Wendy. She told me about she can and she can't. And she told me she can provide psychology care and she can apply symmetric this and she, she, she can give, give training to personnel in the company and she can prepare a spreadsheet and she can uh, try operate, I forget the last part of the sentence, and she can list truck, something like that. And, and I, we tried to find something common area, but we didn't have similar activities or skill that we have because she is more like, she is psychology. And, and I, am the, I am a part, the IT department is really different. Okay, but, okay. Um, okay, yeah, I understand. So not, no, no abilities that are the same between the two of you? No, no, really different. Okay, okay, fair enough. All right, good. Okay, guys, very good. What we're going to do now is uh, move on with our, our class. Let's take a look here about this conversation. But before we begin with the conversation, let's discuss this question. Can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? I want you right now to think about three ways that you personally can contribute to the company's mission. So each one of your companies has a mission. How do you com contribute to that mission? Okay, so I want you to write it down. The next question is, what specific benefits do you provide to your company? Okay, so those two questions. I want you to meditate them and write down your answers.
Okay, you guys finished? Yes. Okay, I'm going to put you back into your, your with your partner, same partner, and discuss those two questions, okay? Using what the information that you just wrote down. Okay. Uh, Wendy, are you there? Sorry, teacher, I have a problem with my son. Oh, okay. Uh, Is there anything okay? Yes, uh, but I, in, one, in, in one moment I uh, go to the, to the, to the, to the break, 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 what do you say? Sala pequeña. Solamente termino aquí una cosa con mi hijo. Ok, uh, vaya, solo que, sí, por lo, ok, join, join, the, join the group and then you can explain to Jewelry, at least, para que no esté él solito. Por lo menos okay, le sepa sí, sí. que, que usted ya, ya, va, ya va a ingresar. Ok, ok, ahorita. Con las racing sales goals. Yes. Hello, Fabiola. Hi, teacher. Eh, Grace. ¿Será que me, me ayuda ahí con la cantidad? Ok. Hoy no está de mucha ganas de. No, teacher, mire la cara que ando. Ay, no se preocupe que yo, yo le entiendo perfectamente. Yo, ahorita aquí haciendo las, las cachas estoy, pero no worries. Así nos toca, teacher. Así toca. Así que no, don't worry. You're, you, you look beautiful, don't worry. Ok, teacher. Ok. In my in mm -hmm. my opinion, in my own opinion, mm -hmm. I'm contribu I'm contributing, contribuyendo, I'm contributing. I don't know how can I say uh, three ways to you contribute to the company creation. One of them is make every activity excellent about my position. Mm -hmm. in, that, okay. in that mission uh, uh, the mission the company mission uh, today I I compare the mission uh, please wait a minute one minute I I have a mission in my company in my WhatsApp <laughs> <laughs> okay what is ways three ways Mm -hmm. What is ways? Uh, like uh, um, forms or modos or caminos or algo así. Mm. Okay. Las formas. Que yo contribuyo a la misión de mm. mi compañía. That is dry, teacher. It is dry. 
Uh -huh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, in my case, uh, the, in my company, the mission is... Uh, Problems. And trying to do the best in my work every day. Puedes, puedes escribirlo. Sí. You, you can write. Okay. We have um, another um, another kind of uh, yeah uh, business in, business in that area. Uh, in the number one, uh, one thing is to be able of confidence to manage responsibilities in in our area, in my mm -hmm. our area. Work with passion, patience, and take care of people, uh, my co-workers and customers. Because uh, the mission of the company is fo focus in the customer. Okay. And the... Bueno, pay for food. Pay for food, one of them is one of them pay for food and a conditioner. Okay. Ah, yeah, the, teacher. the teacher is here. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, teacher. <laughs> no, she's si not doing the tarea. <laughs> no, the, the second question. <laughs> De eso nos estaba mordiendo, teacher. Le dio risa cuando le dije que yo era responsibility. Why? He doesn't look responsible? Eh, eh, no me cree, dice. I don't believe him. Don't believe him. Don't believe me. Mm. Okay. In my case, I say... More knowledge. Very yeah. honest. <laughs> and bonus. <laughs> and viaticos. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, teacher, uh, what is the correct pronunciation? The Mejora continua. Or what do you say in English? Mejora continua. Um, continuous improvement. Continuous. Or ongoing, improvement. ongoing improvement. Ongoing improvement. I going. No, ongoing. Let me write it down. I read it in the chat. Okay. Okay, there you go. Oh, okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, going. Yeah, you can say continuous, but it's better to say ongoing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, see you guys in the main room. Okay, teacher. teacher. Okay, 
All right. Le, y le, les aparece nuevamente el recording in progress cuando regresan. Yes. No. yes. Sí, Always. Yeah, sure. Bueno, vamos a ver cuánto tiempo dura eso porque es, o sea, es más, es por default, pero ya vamos a ver si lo podemos contar. Este, well, I don't know. Some Call to technical support. Yeah, we'll have <laughs> tech support. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, guys. Very good. Now let's talk about, so we, you've already talked about these two questions. Let's, let's read a conversation now that talks about your contribution to the company's mission. So let's start with, um, on, well, we're going to be reading Andre and Kurt. Who would like to read Andre? Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, quiero ver. Ah, okay. Jenny, wonderful. Okay. So, and Jenny, you can be Andre and Kurt. Me, so, teacher. Me. Quiero ver quién dijo me. Who's in me? Me. And Ivan. Ivan. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Ivan. You can be Kurt. Okay. Uh, Kurt, how comfortable. Do you feel working in the class cell area? Very comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Very good, bravo. Thank you very much, you two. Excellent. Okay. Okay, so this conversation between Andre and Kurt. Kurt. Um, first of all, let's discuss these questions. What would be some benefits of having Kurt in the company? Let's talk about that. According to the conversation, of course, right? Okay. Um, he has experience in the construction industry. Mm -hmm. And also uh, he has some experience as a manager. Right, okay. So, yeah, the benefits and is experience in the construction industry. Uh -huh. Experience. And what else? Okay. Help in large projects. Okay, yes. He um, can help in large projects. Uh -huh. Good. What else? What's the other part? Um, uh, he's experiencing the construction, his right. construction industry. Right. And also as a manager. As a manager, right? Manager. Okay. So those are the things that would be very good. Like so if Andre decided to hire Kurt, well, Kurt can give that those benefits to the company, right? Do you consider that experience is important? Yes. Yes, it is, it is very, very important. important. Yes. The more experience, more opportunity. Right. I have a question for you. What do you think is more important? Uh, is it more important to have skills and qualifications? Or no, better said, no, not qualifications. Um, skills and um, a title. Okay, or um, or is it more important to have experience? What do you guys think? Experience, experience, and, but the, the experience with those skills is uh, you you can improve some activities when you have better skills. But if you don't have a skill, you are going to do the same thing 
even the even that you can find better ways to the to do something. Okay, right. Okay, good. That's true. That is true. What do you guys think? Is it more important to have experience, or is it more important to have skills? Both. It depends, teacher. For me, I think it depends the time. If you need a worker who will um, have to work in, in a short time, you need experience because the if you have to to um, learn new things and and you need the the how do you say como la plaza si si se necesita que la plaza se cure rápido the position if you need the position was covered quickly the experience is, is more important for me okay okay fair enough all right okay now we have the general idea about this conversation now let's look at let's do um the closet and tell me about vocabulary that you're not sure about what vocabulary do you not understand um we can write it in the chat again Okay, so, so far we have two words. Mm. Are you sure it's activo? Oh, <laughs> okay, I get it now. Okay. Um, I'm surprised that the word Kurt is using the word asset for himself because I thought that was for objects. Okay, very good. Uh, that's a very good observation. Okay, so am I correct to say that there's only one word that you guys are wondering about? Just the word asset. It sounds like everybody just is talking about the word asset. Is that the only word? Maybe the because uh, the company consider the people like a asset. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me explain to you. Um, um, the word asset is most of the time used to talk about a financial part of the of the company, right? Okay, yes. But when you're talking about a person being an asset, we are not talking about financially. Okay, it's, it's not it's not so much about it's not money we're talking about because obviously, you know, um, it, it's not very good to be talking about people as their money worth, right? But what we mean by asset for a person, it means that it's somebody that has a great value, somebody that um, is important in the in the in, in the um, in the company, right? Mm -hmm. um, somebody that it would be very difficult to have a good. Um, a good result in the company if that person was not there. Does that make sense? Yeah. In this context, he's a values uh, worker. Yes, a valuable worker. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So when you Thank say you I for... would be a great asset, it means like I would be like a valuable worker. Yes. Somebody that oh, you need you need me in your company. Um, maybe not that you can't you can't work without me, but if you have me, your company will be better. It sounds like uh, yeah. it's worth to have me in the company. Exactly. Um, yeah, that's an asset. 
So you can say okay. fulanito is a, an asset, for example, and not only to a company, for example, um, we can say to the class, fulanito, menganita is a great asset to the class because they have this experience, right? Um, so it means like it makes the class, um, you know, better. They, it, it makes the, the, what they're what they contribute to the class is something that's very valuable, right? Okay. So no, we're not just talking about. Yeah. We're, so what I'm what I mean by this is I'm, we're not just talking about people in a company. We're talking about people in a group, right? In a class, in a musical band. Um, you know, any, any group at all, you can use the, you can say the person is a great asset. Okay. Any other words that you don't understand? I don't have a word teacher that I don't understand. I feel like I kind of lost when Andre Andres says, I'm sure about that. Look, I, I think that is missing like the word, what? It's, what can you bring to this company as an employee? Or is is this the correct word? word yeah. Way to I, write it? I, I absolutely agree with you. Yeah, there's a typo. So it should say right here, it should say what can. So the correct form to write it only will be using what at the beginning. Um, I was missing the what. Okay. So look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? Okay. Okay. So yes, the word what is missing. Anything else? Teacher, is 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 uh, well, what beneficial? What benefits? Mm -hmm. What benefits? Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry. No. Yeah, no, no. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the others uh, uh, question, teacher, is um. Uh, is um what is the difference that we between skill and ability um they're very similar they're very very similar um i would say an ability though is something um that you can learn right and a skill is more like, but it's a, let me, let me, let me, okay, let me go back. Um, ability is something that you can learn uh, from somebody else. You know, you can like a, take a, cor a course. And uh, for example, you can have the ability to drive, right? Okay. Um, and so it's something that you would have, you would, you probably would um, learn from another place, from another person. And a skill is more something that you learn through experience, right? Yeah. But they're very similar. They're very similar. Okay. So it's like okay, I, I have the ability to speak in English and in Spanish. It's something that you learned, right? But um, something that you learn through experience, like uh, critical thinking. Critical thinking, right? You guys understand critical thinking? I'll write it in the chat. Critical thinking. Critical thinking. Yes, it's what is what is critical thinking anybody know es como pensamiento crítico crítico pensamiento crítico pensamiento crítico you really can't go to a 
you can take a course really much for critical thinking. I mean, I guess there that it does exist. I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't, but most of the time critical thinking comes from experience, comes from your everyday life that you've learned, you learn that, ex, that skill. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Okay. All right, now there are some vocabulary words. Um, I'm actually going to circle some words that I want you guys, that I, I wanna pay attention to. And you just tell me if there are more other words here that that um, that you're also having problems with. Um, this is a word that we're going to be practicing the pronunciation. Another word was um, this one here. This one. Um, Okay, yeah, I think those are the ones that, those are pretty much it. Do you have any other words that you would like me to go over the pronunciation? Experience. Okay. Anything else? Okay, all right, so the first word here, I have a question before we begin, before I explain to you how to pronounce this word, tell me how many syllables exist in this word? Syllables. Four. 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 Everybody says four? Yeah. Four, uh, three. Four, greet them, maybe when three. you pronounce it. <laughs> The pronoun we're looking at pronunciation, yes. Uh looking for the pronunciation is three, I guess. And you pronounce it comfortable. Okay, good. I know that it looks like it's four. It sounds it it looks like it you would say comfortable, right? Four. But this is actually one of those words that are exception. You don't pronounce certain letters, they are silent. Okay, so we actually pronounce this word with three syllables. The pronunciation is three, not four. Okay. Um, and I'm going to actually cross out the letters that we do not pronounce. Teacher, uh, comfortable. For the border. Actually, hold on. Just give me a second. There you go. That's better. So, really, those that O and the R, we don't pronounce. So, what ends up happening is that we pronounce it more like these four letters together, and we say comf, right? Comf. Comfortable. 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 Okay, so that O and the R don't say. Instead, what we actually do is that we change the R and uh, we we say we almost like it's almost like the R is over here, and we say comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. Okay, so it sounds like the R is like on a different side. So it's like comfter, comfortable. 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 M, right? Comfortable. Comf, comf, com, comfortable. 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 And the stress is on the first syllable. So it's it's comfortable, not comfortable. Okay, it's comf comfortable. Okay. This word here, we pronounce it experience. 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 
experience. The stress is on the second syllable. Experience. 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 This one is employee. Employees. Employee. 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 Mm -hmm. Employee. Okay. Um, next, industry. 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 So this was on the first level. And this one is manager. Manager. Okay. Sounds good? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Okay, so there you go. That's the correct pronunciation and the vocabulary of this um, of this conversation. Now, if you noticed, this conversation has has hold on, some words that are in bold would be would be could be okay so we're gonna would be would be could be okay now um now i want you to notice that with these words we have different subjects the subject here is this and the subject here is I, and it's still the same. Would be, would be, okay? So, um, that's what we're gonna look at right now. Would be and could be. Okay, um, would be and could be. Okay, so um, we use would be or could be when we want to give the impression of a possibility in the future, okay? So when we're not talking about the present, we're talking about the future. That's what's important here, okay? Um, one moment. Okay, so here we're talking about the future, okay? And in this case, it's a possibility uh, in the future, okay? What's the difference between would and could? Well, could expresses more an ability, okay? Whereas would is more um, a possibility, okay? So this is more possibility this is more ability okay so so i would be a great asset okay so here we're using the word would i'm sorry would be and here we're using i could be of great help in the sales department so it means like I have the ability. That's what you're saying. They're very similar, but when you use could, you're emphasizing that there's an ability, okay? Now, it doesn't matter what the subject is. It can be I, it can be you, it can be he, she, whatever. It's still gonna be the same. It's still gonna be would or could. Now, if you notice the verb, the verb is in the base, form. We don't say, we don't say I would am, you say I would be. You don't say I could am, you say I could be. So that's what, that's the structure we're going to, going to, we're going to be using. Would or could and then the verb in the base form. Okay, so let me write this down just to make sure that you guys understand. So subject plus would 
or could plus the verb base form. And And if necessary, we can put the complement. Okay. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Now, normally we're going to be using the base verb, it's going to be be. Okay. But I do want you to understand that, that um, it's the base form. It's always going to be the base form. Okay. Oh, hold on. Give me a moment. Oh. So there you go. Okay. Um, all right. So always the independent of the subject, it can be I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Then we use would, we use could, would or could, then the base verb. And usually in this case, we're going to be using be, and then the complement. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. teacher. Yeah. Okay. All right, so, um, all right, I'm going to give you a chance right now to complete these exercises then. Okay, so what you're gonna do is put the ver these exercises in the correct form, I'm sorry, in the correct order. Okay?
you guys have any questions? How are you guys doing? Are you almost ready? Or do you need more time? We need more time. More time.
Okay. All right, guys. Um, I'm I'm almost sure that not everybody is finished. Am I correct? I'm not sure. Okay. So not sure. let's leave this for homework then. Okay. So okay. I need you guys to finish this for homework, and okay. we will check the answers tomorrow. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, guys, before we leave, I'm going to take attendance once again. Okay. Uh, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Wonderful. Andres. Andres. Andres, no? Okay. Uh, Edgar. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Janet. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Fabiola? Present teacher. Heidi? No. Uh, Irene? Present. All right, excellent. Um, Ivan? Present teacher. Okay, Johnny? Johnny? No? Okay, um, Josue? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Uh, Juan Francisco? Present teacher. All right, jury. Jury. Jury, not here. Present, pre present ah. teacher. My sorry. Right, no I have problem. problem with the with microphone. The, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Carla. Carla. Melissa. Luis. Present teacher. Manuel. Manuel, Manuel Alejandro, no. Uh, Marvin. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Wendy. Wendy. Okay, she's not here. Uh, Werner. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Yvonne. Present. Okay. Francisco. And Jenny. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Okay, guys, so that is going to be all for today's class. Don't forget to do the homework and don't forget to work, uh, be working on the platform, okay? So I will see you guys tomorrow. And um, according to the list, I'm supposed to be with helping out um, Andres today, but because Andres is not here, um, is there anybody that would like to take a spot. Do you guys have any questions you want to ask? Um, something I can help you with? No? No, okay. teacher. All right. Okay, no. thanks, guys. That will be all. I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay? Take care. Okay. You you too. Too. Care. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 See you, teacher. See you.